Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. So in this video I'd like to show you one of the fastest moving plants in the world and interestingly it's probably hiding in your back garden and you just didn't know it was there. So this is a rapidly moving plant. It actually moves around a similar speed as Venus flytraps and much faster than sensitive plants. So it's, as I say, it's not very commonly known but it is a very common plant in most people's gardens. So I'll give you a demonstration here of the plant moving. So it's actually in the flowers. What it is, is you've got the anthers which is the male part of the flower surrounding the female part of the flower and what happens is when it gets buzzed by a bee the male anthers suddenly clamp down on the bee's nose so that it transfers the pollen and also helps to self pollinate its own flower so if I agitate this flower enough you should hopefully see it in action so hopefully you saw it there it closes a split second after so we've got another one here that isn't fully closed and I'll just do it again as an example so you can see that a split second after it's been touched, it closes. So what is this unusual plant you may be wondering with these beautiful flowers? And so the flowers do vary a bit from plant to plant, but as I say, there's actually a few different species that does this, and it's basically anything in the Berberus genus or anything in the Mahonia genus as well. So there's quite a lot of garden plants that do this. This particular one I've been doing in the beginning of the video here is a Berberus darwinii. The plant here that I have in my parents' garden is just coming to the end of its flowering, so there's not a whole lot of flowers to demonstrate this on, but it does give a really nice orange display, this plant. Some Berberus, like this Berberus here, is known for its flowering and it has really nice flowers. Other Berberus, though, you don't really think of the flowers is they are there they're not showy so it's something that people might not think about so I'll go now and I'll show you some other ones so I've now got another Berberus flower this is the one on the right hand side now as you can see it's not quite as showy this Berberus is known for its purple foliage this is Berberus thunbergii you've probably got it in your garden it's as with all Berberus it's very thorny so I'll show you here this one should have a similar effect so I'll just give it a tap this is quite a young flower but we'll see how it goes as you saw there it closes up quite rapidly and it just has the same kind of movement as the other Berberus. So as I say, any Berberus, any Mahonia, they all have this effect on their flowers. So have a quick look in your garden so you can see them and you can avoid the thorns, give a little tap to the flowers, you'll see them closing nicely. Now as I say, there's lots of different species of Berberus, there's also lots of different species of Mahonia, so chances are you've got at least one in your garden and this is the exact effect you'll have if you just look at the flowers very carefully and tap them. Now with Mahonias, they normally flower in the winter time and with most Berberus, they normally flower in early springtime. So that's the best time to see the flowers and to witness this fast moving plant.